Hi there! Thanks for joining me today for this Creating Keepsakes video tutorial on how to blur the background of your photo using Photoshop Elements. For this photo I'm using Photoshop Elements 8. If you have an older version of Photoshop Elements feel free to follow along because these instructions should also work in older versions. First open Photoshop Elements and open your photo. Remember once you've opened your photo you need to save it as a new name so you're not changing your original. On the menu bar go to File, Save As. We're going to give this a new name. Once you've renamed the file go ahead and click on Save. And usually when you're printing a photo you want to save this as a large size file. I've set it at 11 maximum here. And go ahead and hit OK. Okay, this is a photo I took of my son playing soccer and the reason why I've selected this photo for this effect is because I want only my son to be in focus in the photo. Seeing his teammate here in the background is a bit distracting to the photo. I'd like just him in the forefront so I want to blur the background softly. In order to do that I need to select the subject of my photo, in this case my son, and to do that I'm going to go to the toolbar Behind the Quick Selection tool, if you click and hold, you'll find the Selection Brush tool. Click on that to select the tool. And the next thing you'll want to do is make sure you have loaded in your Options bar a fairly large sized, hard edged, round brush. If you don't have one loaded already, go ahead and click on the drop down menu of your brushes and select the size of the brush. If you need to change the size of your brush, you can change it up here on the menu bar you can also use your left and right bracket keys which will make your brushes larger and smaller. This handy keyboard trick will come in handy when you're selecting your subject. So now that I've got my brush selected, I'm going to click and hold on my subject and I'm going to actually select him in this photo. Now I'm using a mouse. Some of you may have a pen tablet which would make this select selection process much easier, but I'm just using my mouse. So I'm not going to be real precise here. I'm just going to select him the best that I can. When I'm doing selections, I like to work with a larger brush first and get the bulk selected. And then I go back and make the more fine adjustments later with a smaller size brush. Now because he's kicking a soccer ball in this photo, I'd also like the soccer ball to be in focus so that you can understand what he's doing in the photo. I'm going to make my brush size a little bit smaller so that I can get his hand. And if you'd like to zoom in to get closer to your subject, control and the plus key on your keyboard will help you zoom in to your subject. And if you need to zoom back out, control and the minus key will help you do that. Okay, notice how I'm not being really careful in my outlining and that's okay because this effect is pretty slight so you don't need to be real exact with your selection. Okay, once you have selected your entire subject in the photo, you'll next want to go up to the menu bar and click on select and click on inverse. What this does is it actually takes your selection and it's selecting the background instead now. The background is now selected so the last thing we have to do in this process is go to filter on the menu bar and we're going to apply our blur filter. After you click on filter, click on blur, and we're going to apply the Gaussian blur. When you open that you'll see the Gaussian blur window open. If you'd like to see how the effect is being applied, you can click up here in the preview window and view the subject. So in this case I'll have my son in the foreground and his friend in the background and I'll click on the slider bar and I'll move that to see how well it's adjusting the blur. You can also type directly into this radio box, radius box for the pixels, but I'm just going to move the slider up and down a little bit to see the effect in front of me. Once I've got the blur applied that I like, go ahead and click on OK and to deselect everything, press Control and D on your keyboard and now you can see how I've just slightly blurred the background of this photo. Thank you for joining me for this Creating Keepsakes tutorial for blurring the background of a photo using Photoshop Elements.